It was just such a miracle, such a miracle. It made my heart explode with happiness. An Encanto man who nearly died from COVID-19 is back home with loved ones tonight who are also recovering from the virus. As our tennis reporter Michael Chin tells us, an experimental treatment saved his life. Happiest day of my life. 17 year old Jeanette Franco talking about her dad Antonio returning home after a month inside an ICU battling COVID-19. His first symptom, a cough. A month ago, Jeanette heard a loud thud. And opened my door and he was right there, collapsed on the floor. Inside the ICU, his oxygen levels measured at less than 50%. He was put on a ventilator, the situation dire. Doctors said his only chance to survive was an experimental treatment using an ECMO machine, which pumps and oxygenates the blood outside the body, allowing the heart and lungs to rest. Every time the phone rang, we were very scared for him. Scary and also stressful, says his daughter Vanessa, because the three other members of the household were struggling with their own symptoms. His wife Martha and daughters Jeanette and Vanessa. would pray to God to make it through the night because it was so, um, it feels like you're drowning and you can't breathe. Vanessa and Jeanette would test positive for coronavirus. Their thoughts remain firmly on their dad very scary. It was, I, I was just in shock. At one point over the phone, Vanessa made her dad a promise. Dad, we are going to celebrate your birthday. You have to stay strong. Um, I promise you that you will see us on your birthday. Then a remarkable turnaround. A week and a half ago, Antonio was taken off the ventilator. On Saturday, his birthday, Antonio went home. Such a miracle. It made my heart explode with happiness. Michael Chen, 10 News. A recent study out of Japan showed the high-risk ECMO treatment resulted in a 68% survival rate for COVID patients after conventional treatments failed to improve their conditions.